As we get closer to 8 o'clock, of course, excitement is growing at Boston watch parties. Let's head back to NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin, live at a Democratic watch party in downtown Boston. Kirsten? Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, I'm joined by Steve Kerrigan tonight, who is the chair of the Democratic Party here in Massachusetts. The watch party has officially started. Yes. It's here at the Bell in Hand. Obviously, our cameras aren't allowed inside, but set the scene for us. What's it like in there, and how are people feeling? Uh, well, it's a great crowd of people. Um, we were expecting a couple hundred people. Um, uh, it's uh, They're energetic. They're excited. I think they're most excited to see the general election kick off officially for us here in Massachusetts tonight at around 8.01. Probably PM. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of excitement, a lot because everyone understands what's on on the line in this uh, in this campaign, and and Democrats across Massachusetts are pretty excited. Yeah. Earlier today, we were talking about how President Joe Biden has. You've you've kind of echoed him in this, saying that really you should vote for him because of the alternative in this, not necessarily yeah. the almighty. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so the president's always said, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. And I think that's what we're facing in this election. You know, there, there's there's a lot of folks who who do hand wringing, which is a, a tradition in the Democratic Party. We have to wring our hands and complain about our candidates or our causes and all that. Um, ultimately, what it comes down to is after tonight, we're going to have two nominees. Uh, uh, we're going to have Donald Trump on the Republican side and Joe Biden on the Democratic side. And in the end, uh, we have seen the leadership that Joe Biden has, uh, has has shown us in the last three years, and we know what Donald Trump brings to the table. We know this is not a mystery uh, for folks. Uh, he brings autocracy. He brings uh, efforts to limit women's rights uh, to make their own um, uh, decisions about reproductive freedom. He, he wants to limit your right to vote. He wants to limit all these. That's what we're facing. And so in the end, I understand no candidate is perfect. I understand that I've been a candidate myself. Believe me, no candidate is perfect. But in the end, what you have to do is you have to vote for the candidate who represents you the best, who you believe is going to fight for our democracy, fight for our future, and fight for the things we care about. Uh, and, and, and Joe Biden is that person. And honestly, if you compare him to Donald Trump, uh, which this is the first time in 100 years where we have two presidents who've each served a term. So this is not theoretical. We know what each president will do as president. Uh, I think if you put those two terms side by side, Joe Biden wins in a, in a walk. Uh, and I hope that the people of the United States, I have all the confidence in the world, will decide as the people of Massachusetts will tonight, which is to go firmly behind Joe Biden. Steve, thank you so much. As Thanks you said, so it does come down to the voters, and they have less than a half hour at this point to finish up at the polls. And of course, those results continuing to come in into this evening. We will keep you posted here. But that's the latest live here in Boston. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC 10 Boston.